Good morning. I have just woken up in my hotel room. This is so nice. <laughs> you can say I've been sleeping under both of the, the bed sheets. <laughs> the floor is very squeaky. <laughs> when I came in here, oh, look, it's a nice morning. Wow. So when I came in here in my room, <laughs> The window was open, so it was super duper cold. So that's why I decided to take both of these uh, blankies. It was so nice. It, they are so fluffy. I want to bring them home. <laughs> Here is my stuff in my <laughs> in my doggy bag. It's so cute. My jacket. I will not forget it. <laughs> Haven't even brushed my hair yet. But yeah, this is haven't watched the TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my stuff and go to the truck. This is my first hotel night as a truck driver. <laughs> if the truck is somehow not available for sleeping, there is a chance you can get a hotel night from the company and I'm very happy for that. I have slept like a baby. <laughs> uh, but now it's time to get going. So I actually woke up around 5 in the morning again. I checked my phone and I'm like, I haven't heard anything from my colleague. He was gonna call me when he uh, was back in Mjölby, or like 45 minutes before. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I'm going back to sleep then. <laughs> Cherish as much sleep as you can. So he calls me around 9. <laughs> 9 in the morning. And he's like, yeah, I'm... I'm uh, 30 minutes away from Yelby, so you can just wake up now. And uh, so that was very nice. I got to sleep in even. I feel, uh, I haven't felt this well rested in a truck in ages. <laughs> so I recommend hotel visits every night. <laughs> yeah, that, that was lovely. Ooh, it's one of the MTAB trucks. They are really nice. I kind of want to drive for them. They do like uh, event stuff, like concerts and uh, yeah, really cool drives. <laughs> and they drive like all over Europe. There's my car. I have the same caddy as last time. So this is Mjölby haven't really seen much of it besides the uh, truck terminal oh no today will be flowing as good as it can. I'm going to a new place and unload the pallets that I have on and then I will be loading I think uh, empty goods for the next driver and it will be in the same building which is very nice I don't have to like go back and forth so it's a lot of driving on this route which is nice. <laughs> I rather have uh, fewer stops than uh, lots of stops and tomorrow I will actually be working in the barn again with the horses uh, I haven't been there in a while so I really look forward to it I love that job seeing the horses again and uh, yeah just yeah <laughs> it's amazing uh, so I just hope I get home in a decent hour and speaking of getting home I want to go home extra much today 
because at home I have a puppy. I have gotten the cutest, smallest puppy I have ever seen. He is so amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry just thinking about him. <laughs> and of course he has the best dog sitter in the world right now. Him and Vingo. And the cats of course. Sadly I can't bring dogs in the trucks. That would have been nice but yeah the trucks are being shared by so many people that yeah it wouldn't work sadly. Uh, if you have seen the video, I haven't posted a lot of content this winter because I have been feeling very sad. I haven't done much at all. Uh, you know, I recently lost my dog Alfie, my chihuahua, and that took uh, really hard on me. Yeah, it has been very rough, but I have also been thinking like during that day and after the moment I lost him. I had an intrusive thought like I want to leave Vigo to someone else because I just can't handle the pain to see him uh, to see him pass like whenever that is gonna happen. Uh, I wouldn't do that of course I wouldn't but I had this impulsive thought. Yeah I've been dealing with the pain and uh, insomnia problems but I have also been thinking I was looking at ads of puppies because it was a very comforting feeling just knowing there are so many puppies out there and they are so cute <laughs> then I felt like would I be ready for a new puppy in my life on the one side I feel like it wouldn't be fair to Alfie but on the other hand it's uh, I have this, like, I want something to focus on and uh, something that can bring happiness and joy. <laughs> and uh, so I decided I'm getting a puppy. And then I drove for four, almost five hours to the other side of Sweden. And then I picked up my brand new puppy. He is a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix. I decided to name him happy because that's what he is and that's what he makes me he has brought so much joy in my life again and i take him out like 12 times per day <laughs> so i have a reason to get up like immediately in the morning he needs to go outside and he needs to be cared for so that's very happy news i wanted to share but i just want to say that i'm feeling uh, a lot better now <laughs> since the puppy came.
since my last vlog it has been uh, winter, spring, and now it's winter again. Uh, I just want winter to be over, but right now it is very pretty. The trees are covered in snow and uh, the roads are really nice. They, they are perfect even. So I'm supposed to get back to work. Uh, I guess I'm already back at working, but you know, like more uh, permanent with a schedule and so. But I don't know, I have a puppy now and uh, since I can't bring him in the truck, I'm loosely thinking about switching a trucker job so I could drive something where I can bring my dogs. They are being cared for when I'm uh, not at home, but still, I, I would like to have them. Uh, I just gotta find a job that could be fitting for me. I would love to drive a wood chip truck again. I have been saying that so many times, but driving wood chips with my dogs, that would be dreamy. Or maybe gravel. Wow, this guy has problems. Wow, he's standing in the middle of the lane. Oof, poor guy. I wonder what's wrong with this truck. I felt like I should have slowed down more there, but uh, yeah, oh well. So maybe a wood chip truck or delivering gravel again could be nice. I just feel like most of the, most of the trucks where you can bring a dog is like gravel trucks. <laughs> what I'm doing now, pallets deliveries is like normally you don't get to bring any pets so uh, yeah we'll see what happens I still have this dream of working on boats but I don't know I have a puppy now <laughs> so things have changed I have this weird like longing to see the world but at the same time I want to be at home where I'm safe with my pets so it's like two uh, two feelings that are fighting each other a bit. We'll see what happens, but I have my options open for the moment.